Alexandra Joy Smith here in today's soul class, covering a very deep topic. Most of mine are the ones that I just am passionate about delving into because the only way out is through my love. The only way out is through. You can't avoid it. You got to go through it. So we're going to talk about and explore betrayal and um, being deceived today. Even saying those words like, oh, it'll like elicit sensations in my body and just like kind of like, oh, heck, I want to avoid feeling those, <clears throat> even feeling the words, saying the words because it doesn't feel good. My sensations in my body aren't resonating as like full of joy and peace when I say those words. Yet, what if we could have betrayal? What if we could have feelings of being deceived, transmuted, transformed, reframed into, instead of be, be betrayal, but as the gifts that got us being on the trail, the trail home to our authentic selves, to our true selves, to our soul source filled selves. And I'm not saying when it occurs or something like this shows up in our lives, which it has certainly for mine, um, you can even entertain it being a gift. And I'm not I'm not asking you to spiritually bypass, like avoid and make it okay, that which, you know, hit your system and penetrated your being on the deepest level in the way that being um, betrayed through potentially it was in a marriage or an intimate partnership you felt um, lied to. You know, it was infidelity or it was betrayal in a, in a work uh, partnership or in a work colleague situation or in a company or in a social group with your closest friends, uh, a soul sister, uh, or it could be in family, you know, with a, with a parent or a sibling. So the sensations that you know, occur in our bodies. I just want us to breathe for a moment and, and not, I don't need to like go there, but I just want you to just, if you've had that experience or you, you know, you kind of held your sister going through that experience or a child or a parent, you know, what is it, what does it feel like? And the immediate um, hit can be uh, for many of us uh, and for the hundreds of, of hours of guiding I've done with women, I, I know what the report is. You know, it, it's like you can't even feel it in your body because it's all so much and so painful. Yet in the switch of context, if we could reframe it to that, that level of what has shown up outside of us is the very thing to bring us back home to being on the trail back home to self, if we could for a moment entertain that as as a possibility and and do the quote unquote, I call it play, but the work to uh, portal into, you know, why did that show up? You know, what what is it in my life that would have that level of impact occur for me? Again, I'm not saying it's easy to, to shift this perspective into this perspective of, of it being a gift. Um, but, but you know, when you, when you feel it in your body for that moment, you know, what feels better or worse? Uh, betrayal, um, betraying, blaming, or reframing? You know, feel like what it would feel like in your body to reframe it as your, your lesson that got you back on the trail home to self. You know, maybe you were giving over you weren't clear about your vision, your 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 mission. You weren't you weren't in your body and and in your empowered soulful self. So that's why it it, it could have shown up. You know, the shaming versus learning. You know, what feels better? 
in your body does uh, punishing versus forgiving. One of my favorite um, statements is your heart is forgiving. I know for me, uh, after 40 years of sacred journey woman work in the areas of transformation, including a, a psychology degree, a lot of you listen to me and you know, you know, I've been on this, on the path for a very long time uh, and have done certifications and training and degrees in, in optimal living and, and health and, and spirituality and what it is to create abundance, all of that. Yet I still had to show up in my life, in my significant partnership. And it brought me to my knees, literally knees <laughs> in prayer, in a surrender. And my heart was broken open. I remember at the time thinking and saying, you know, gosh, this is what it, the poets write about. Like my heart is so broken and my heart was broken open. You know, when I was a child and fell in love with, with certain poets who would write about love that actually elicited in me wanting to create that level of soul partnership, soul mate partnership and twin flame partnership is because I listened to the songs and read the poets and read the fiction you know, around what was possible to be in that level of relationship. So I was in it, yet my heart obviously wasn't fully open and it really did crack it open. And I'm certainly not asking for you to get it on that level at, uh, at the point of it happening, because ultimately what happens is, uh, and if you follow me and you follow my work, you know that everything is energy. We are made of energy. The feelings we feel are energy. The, th the thoughts we think are energy. And the energy of betrayal is a very baseline um, and being, um, being betrayed um, is a very baseline, lower chakra, lower energy centers. Energy centers are that which, you know, think of lifting the hood of an engine and looking inside like our energy centers or some, you know, in ancient tradition, they call them uh, chakras. Mm -hmm. They are like our inner engines and they're that level of, of betrayal that creates fear and taps into our baseline fear really taps into our, our baseline lack of feeling safe and belonging. And those are our, our lower energy centers in our body. So, I mean, it taps, it, it cracks open every area of us and then ultimately our hearts uh, because on some level um, not that we created it because it's not about this is I'm not talking on the level of fault I'm talking on the level of that's how powerful we are and we are meant to be here and our hearts are meant to be here for giving for giving for loving there's only one thing happening there's only one thing happening <laughs> we are here to be and remember that we are made of, from, to be, love. So some of us, including me, have had to have uh, a lot of um, knockabouts <laughs> to crack us open. Because I am um, someone who, yeah, did a lot of work in sacred journey when work and meditated on mountaintops and beaches and spiritual immersions and all that. But there was a part of me that was still very in my head and not in my heart, not in my body. So if you are interested in more uh, of how betrayal can get alchemized and reframed and, you know, being con uh, deceived can get alchemized and, and reframed in such a way that leaves you more at the source of who you are, more at the source of being the sorceress, the, the incredible creatures made of love that you are. If you are interested in having that transformation and that transmutation, you know, please, please consider entering the journey either with me, through me, and let, let me share this this ancient uh, way of reframing and and ceremonializing ceremonializing 
adding ceremony to uh, what has occurred that might have hurt. Um, and if there's anything uh, like you, like it was for me, you know, like devastating into um, a way back home, a way back to being on the trail of being in my most embodied, authentic, love-filled, heart-filled soul and self. And especially with what the opportunities we've had for growth over these last years on the planet. You know, many of us feel so betrayed by organizations, by governments, by just what's happening in the world. You know, we're like, what? So, you know, it doesn't necessarily just have to be in the personal relationships or at work. It could just, it could be a planetary phenomenon too, where you feel, where you have felt these things. So if you're interested in what it is to really be on the trail, home to your most sourceful, sourceful, I call it the sorceress, the creatress self, please consider contacting me, reaching out to me, jumping into one of my heartfelt created journeys. That's our class today. Can't wait to see you in, in the next one. We will continue to kind of fractal into what it is to reframe fear, reframe those things that show up for us as potentially the lessons that have us anchor the love, the love beings that we truly are.